You know, it's interesting to uh, come back down here to the Gulf Coast. I try to think back about what it was like the first time I came after the storm hit. And, uh, you know, I guess the, my, my most vivid recollection uh, is, is the piles of rubble. I mean, literally, uh, debris stacked upon debris. And it was, it's hard to believe then that uh, I would be, you know, I had faith that I'd be able to come to a home, but I had trouble visualizing it. And then I kept coming down and I watched the improvement because of the hard work of the local citizens, people like the mayor here and the governor, uh, who set a vision that was a hopeful vision. The federal government's role has been to write checks. The governor's role and the mayor's role has helped to expedite the federal money to, uh, to the local folks. And today, uh, we were able to sit in a, a homeowner, the Wooders home. And they, you know, one of the things I like to say is when somebody walks in, says, welcome to my home. And it had this little special ring to it here in, in the Gulf Coast. Because uh, there was a time when uh, their home was totally destroyed. Part of the reason I've come down is to tell the people here on the Gulf Coast that we still think about them in Washington. And that we listen to the governor when he speaks. The other reason I've come down is I want the taxpayers of the United States to see firsthand uh, what their money has done to help revitalize a, uh, a series of communities that were literally wiped out because of a major storm. It's, uh, this is a hopeful day. There's obviously a lot more work to be done. You can see vacant lots uh, where there's going to be new building. There's still work to be done here in Mississippi, and the governor and I are going to go listen to some of the local officials describe to me what's on, you know, what, what's on their mind and how we can continue to help. But times are changing for the better, and people's lives are improving, and there is hope, and I congratulate uh, the good folks in this part of the country for their resiliency, their courage, and the, the fact that they never abandoned hope. So thank you for giving us a chance to come by. We're proud to be with you. Thank you so much. Love being with you. Thank you all for your hospitality. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you all. Are you not